guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Operator TV. The internet is on fire. The internet space is agog with the news that is sad and shocking at the same time. The young man you see right there is called Obi Wan OKK. The Federal Bureau of Investigation (FBI) in the United States has apprehended this young Nigerian. He's a Biafran. An Igbo man. He claimed that he's a serial entrepreneur and he identifies himself as Invictus Obi Okeke. That is Obi Wane. Invictus Obi Okeke. The news that is gathered so far is that this young man works listed. Let me give you a little bit background about this young man that you see right there. The news is that this young man, OKK, was listed amongst Forbes' 100 most influential young Africans 2018. And that's a picture of the young man there. He was arrested by the FBI over $12 million fraud. The FBI did a thorough investigation on this young man's activities. And this led to the arrest of OKK by the law enforcement agency like i said before social media has been agog with the report of the arrest as some nigerians condemned the fraudulent act of this young entrepreneur while others called on the nigerian security agencies to learn from the fbi you know most of the times you see sas or the agency called the EFCC arresting young men probably they see them with two smartphones or they have dreadlocks or a tattoo and they believe this young man young men may be involved in crime this is a young person with suits now i'm going to show you something shocking one more thing this young man inside he featured in what they call ted tedx tedx is a talk show where they bring entrepreneurs from it, it, it ranges from all from art sciences just name it they do talks and this young man featured here and you see the topic dna of the nigerian entrepreneur so this guy is intelligent he knows the business he knows what to say and all of that but then the backbone of the wealth okiki was alongside three others nominated for the most prestigious award for african businessmen and entrepreneurs the all african business leaders award for young business leaders west africa he won he was nominated obi has investments in real estate development energy and construction his company in victor's group operates in three african countries which includes nigeria south africa and zambia head of the presidency office of digital engagement tolu ogunlesi advise aspiring fraudsters to have a change of mind saying if the economic and financial crimes commission efcc does not arrest them fbi will i'm going to quickly show you his indictment and let's look at this this is what someone actually put out there on facebook yeah this person writes the fbi arrest of invictus will be over alleged 12 million dollars fraud should be a lesson to all youth man that guy was on forbes 30 on the 30 truly all that glitters are not gold this invictus will be story shows that forbes do not really do their own work before prison people they are just the international version of ovation magazine this is an embarrassment for them don't let anyone tension you invictus will be branding himself as a serial entrepreneur and forbes helped him to authenticate his brand move at your pace and appreciate your efforts don't trust people doing well on social media only value and respect your hustle trust in god and don't let the society give you unnecessary depression when it's your time it's your time now what do you guys think about this do you accept what this young man has just written here oftentimes you see some people call themselves social media influencer and you see them post pictures of exotic automobiles they, they, they shop exotic brands they call they some of them do what they call custom made jewels jewelers and some of them say they are into luxury product they say they are social media influencer some of them call themselves um, real estate businessmen 
involved in a lot of things some say gas oil and gas and you see them plaster themselves out there on social media platforms for young people to see and you look at these things and you're like oh baba ah baba i want to be like you well sometimes i wouldn't blame young people because the mentors the people you look at are actually the criminals that have looted your economy and you have nothing else to hold on to your pastor has private jet flashy and you are like what the hell what if i take a little bit of this and that and become great myself i'm going to show you the indictment in fact a lot of people are saying a lot of things let's see this one this one says i was literally shaking after reading the fbi affidavit on invictus will be man the investigation wasn't only comprehensive but a lot of pains taking hard work was put into it but now i wonder what would become of all those who endorsed and gave apparent legitimacy to invictus ob this is invictus ob here now they've been on him for a while and they've been watching in fact being on forbes actually put you out there unless you are a businessman it doesn't matter what you do probably you're a criminal like some of the people that got money through via monopoly in nigeria or through some corrupt practice in nigeria in any part of the world you will stay in your country you establish yourself and you stretch out your hands probably Forbes will post your pictures and write a little article about you that's what they do but when you come out of your shell and you're involved in all of this like this young man well let's see this is Tolu Ogunlese he said the FBI charges this young man this young Nigerian entrepreneur with conspiracy to commit computer fraud conspiracy to commit computer fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud BEC stuff amount involved appears to be around 11 million US dollars the FBI evidence against him is damning now this is the Forbes where he featured and yet Nigeria inspiring entrepreneur Obiwane okay K. now I'm going to show you here he writes my jaws are on the ground after reading that DOG affidavit DOJ affidavit crazy social media played a significant role in the investigations Twitter Instagram Nyreland really intriguing stuff talk about an unwitting digital footprint first four pages of DOJ affidavit below now I'm going to quickly go through this it's a lot here yeah, affidavit in support of criminal complaints and arrest warrant redacted introduction Marshall Ward being first duly sworn hereby this deposed and state the following I am employed by the United States Department of Justice as a special agent of the federal. Okay, I'm not going to go through this. Let's quickly see. This affidavit is submitted in support of the attached criminal complaint proposing to charge Obi Wan OKK here after OKK with committing conspiracy to commit computer fraud in violation of 18 USC. And I'm going to go down here. In June 2018, representative for Uno Track. Holding Limited, the export sales office for Caterpillar Heavy Industrial and Farm Equipment, headquartered in the United Kingdom, contacted the FBI. They reported that Unotrack had been victimized through an email compromise, which ultimately resulted in fraudulent wire transfers totaling, totaling nearly 11 million US dollars. After receiving reviewing the documentation provided by the representatives the FBI opened an investigation in July 2018 the representatives explained that on or about April 1st 2018 Unitrack chief financial officer CFO received a phishing email containing a web link purportedly to the login page of the CFO online email account hosted by Microsoft Office 365 when the CFO opened the link it instead led him to a phishing website crafted to imitate the legitimate office 365 login page believing the page to be real he entered his login credentials which were captured by an unknown intruder who controlled the spoofed web page after capturing the legitimate the credentials the intruders was able to remotely log in and assess the CFO entire Office 365 account which included all of his emails and various digital files. Logs indicates that between April 6 and April 20, 2018, the intruder says the CFO account at least 464 times, mostly from 
internet protocol IP address in Nigeria. With full access to the account, the intruder sent fraudulent wire transfer request from the CFO's email account to members of Unitrack internal financial team. The intruder also attached fake invoices to the email to enhance the credibility of the request. For many of the of the invoices, the intruder used content sourced from within the CFO's own account, such as Unitrack logos, pre-formatted invoice templates. To make the invoice appear authentic, knowing that the invoice typically originates from outside the organization, the intruder also apparently sent emails to the CFO's account from an external address and then forwarded them to the financial team. For example, on April 19, 2018, the CFO account received an email from P-A-K-F-E-I trade at gmail.com. Two minutes later, the intruder forwarded the email with an attached fraudulent invoice to a member of the financial team. Now, you see, that's phishing. I mean, they were really involved in this. Now, there's a lot of things that these guys, you know, this guy did, probably with his team. During the period of unauthorized access, activity lot shows that the intruder created or modified email filter rules for the CFO account on seven occasions between April 10 and April 17, 2018. The rules intercepted legitimate emails and, f- and form from employees on the financial team, mark them as red and move them to another folder outside of the inbox. These rules appear to have been created in an attempt to hide from the CFO any response from the individuals to whom the intruder was sending fabricated emails. Now, believing the wire transfer requests had come from their CFO, Unitra Finance staff processed approximately 15 fraudulent payments between April 11 and April 19, 2018. In some cases, several payments were sent to the same account. For example, the finance staff received and processed three invoices to Pack Fee Trade Limited, one for 278000 and another one for 898 This is a lot of money. And another one for $1 million, $1.9 million. In total, nearly 11 million US dollars was sent, all of which was all of which went to overseas account. By the time the fraud was discovered, it was too late to cancel the transfers, and Unitrack was able to recover very little of the transfer fund. Of course, the money left. Now, the problem with these guys is this: they are never satisfied. They are never satisfied at all. They are never satisfied. They will keep on and on until they are caught, and of course, that is how it is. Yeah, another one right with full access to the Microsoft 365 account. The intruder was also able to browse the CFO's files hosted by Microsoft Online File Storage Service OneDrive. The intruder viewed at least 15 of the CFO files, probably those relating to tax filings and other information. The FBI conducted open whose source who is queried from this icon iconocla that's the email and found that it was listed as the registrant for several internet domains, including mrindustries.com appears to be an intentional misspelling of the domain mr industries.com using l instead of the i because the two lowercase characters look similar open source queries indicate mr industry is likely the legitimate email domain for asm international trading dubai united arab emirates an international financial portfolio company that could logically have been could logically have business relationships with Unitrack based upon my experience working similar cases. I know that subjects who send phishing emails often do so from domain names that incorporate one or two intentionally misspelled characters. Now I'm gonna leave that. So this is just deep. This is what, what what went down. As you can see, they did what they call diligent investigation. Another one when they, they went further. I interviewed redacted person one and he advised he has no knowledge of the email address icon icon class. He claimed to have never registered an internet domain and was unaware that anyone had used his identity to do so. Now one we wonder how were they able to locate these guys after all this amount of money that they must have transferred to them. How were they able? Now I'm gonna go down here. Let's see what we have here. This is the email say um iconoclast 60 gmail.com instructed redacted email to redesign particular layouts and features of the web pages to ensure they will function properly and appear authentic for example during a chat session so they were able to go through this email and here yeah, they found check it mail 
sent you the file already okay many errors screenshot please you use exactly the same terms and codes for your old pages this have been marked online and the page dies easily and it says without password the thing they process without username the thing they process it does not ask for password twice does not have flashing message before redirecting it is not asking for password twice that is all the page looks good and nearly 10 months later now here they say they decide to create another page here right i need a new page i don't know what it will be but fresh codes completely fresh everything and one you can choose your email provider i don't know what you have in mind what are the latest challenges we, we, we could come with a new document sharing services parallel one aside from the adobe or dropbox which you have in mind i'm thinking hard but we will still do a fresh totally fresh office 365 page too now you can see that these guys did diligent when i say diligent job they did diligent job anyway what do you guys think about all of this let's meet at the comment section below and while you're there may i remind you to tap on that subscription button so you will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded thanks for stopping by